Righto. Welcome back to another one of these motherfucking things. Um, yeah, so just tonight, just doing a bit of a rando update. Got a fucking few vinyl there, one tape. We'll run through them. Give them a bit of a spiel. Also, I've got I'm fucking, I've been long overdue just to do a bit of a, a couple of shout outs. Just to a couple of blokes that have sent some stuff my way, which is fucking extremely humbling and I really do appreciate it. And I, want, I do want to show my support back. I'm not going to do it in this update. I'm going to do it in a... I've got a Dark Adversary up, uh, unboxing coming up. So I want to fucking probably include that just in a couple of segments with that as well um, towards the end. But the two um, two blokes that I do want to shout out in that one will be that Goat Metal Show, Buzz, from that banger, because, yeah, fucking went out of his way to fucking send me a couple of T-shirts and his... Um, I think it's his first... his debut full-length um, with his band... Greater Memphis, which is fucking, yeah, I don't expect that shit, and yeah, I, it is fairly humbling from him to fucking send that all the way around the other side of the world, over to this motherfucker in Australia, so yeah, cheers to you, Baz, that's fucking fantastic, and I also did receive, I think, three CDs from um, an Italian black metal um, distro, let me fucking check this one out, because it, it is a bit of a longer name, and you know I am with longer names. I don't want to fuck this up because it'd be rude. One second. So they are MD BMI, so which is Musio del Black Metal Italiano. So they're a distro and they do have their own YouTube fucking channel. So if you want to jump on that motherfucker and give that a whirl, do that too. But yeah, I'll chuck links in the uh, in this little motherfucker tonight for you. You can have a look if you want. If you don't, well, fucking, I don't know. What do you want me to do? But they are both good channels, and yeah. But we'll get into this fucking thing for this evening. We'll have a fucking, we'll have a bit of a hydration uh, pit stop right here. The first um, project we're going to talk about tonight is a band out of US, Pennsylvania. Fantastic raw black metal project. Do love it. Through a fucking fantastic um, label too, that being Death Hymns. Yeah, good shit. And yeah, the band is Ancestral Fortitude. And the little demo, only a three song banger, is um, called Stronghold. Yeah, so this um, basically, oh, wrong way. The um, three songs on this thing will fucking tear the skin from your face. It's, yeah, fucking, it's abrasive. It's rough as guts. It's fucking, yeah. The vocals are quite, they're quite dissonant, but at the same time, they're fucking vicious as fuck. Nasty as a motherfucker. It's a fucking blast fest. Some fucking wicked riffs throughout, and it all kind of sits behind, like the cave and shit, it kind of sits, like, behind a giant wall of fucking um, static. I fucking love that shit. It's raw, it's nasty. Um, the production end on this is... Rough to say the least, especially when you get into the second song and the motherfucker, it almost cuts out and just quit, quits, just gives up. But then it picks back into it, picks up, picks back up and then fucking takes off again. But yeah, um, they are part of, I do believe it's a three-piece band and they're most no notable for being um, in the band Sylvan Throne. So yeah. So people would know most of their work from there. I think they've got a couple of full lengths out as well, Sylvan Throne. So yeah, part of their, what are the fucking PABM fucking inner circle or some bullshit over there like that. That's what they're fucking, that's what they're rolling with. I don't know whether you have to wear, you know, different types of clothes to fucking be part of that or, you know, you fucking have to lift weights like this huge cunt. He's massive. But yeah, fucking stellar music nonetheless. And yeah, raw, yeah, raw as fuck. Definitely deserves your time. I would like to see more than 12 minutes worth of music from these bangers. I mean, it did come out last year, so hopefully we do get uh, another output from these lads under this fucking, uh, what a fucking pseudonym. Is that a fucking, we we'll go with fucking pseudonym. That's what I'm going with tonight. Fucking hot as fuck too in here. I don't know why I got me fucking hoodie on. Trying to look like a cool cunt or something, I don't know. But yeah, good shit. Get around it. Um, if you are after copies, and you are outside the US, um, go through, uh, was it, New Era Productions? 
I know he is the, one of the main distributors for Death Hymns outside the US. And yeah, we all know them. They're a fucking grouse company as well, Grouse Distro. Um, if you are in Australia, I do believe Overuse still has copies of this fucking thing. So go and talk to him as well. Good bloke. Matt from Overuse. So fucking yes. Good fucking name too. Don't worry about good bloke. Yeah, good shit. Chuck up a fucking little snippo with this banger. And we'll fucking rip into this cunt. We'll rip into some vinyls. Let's fucking go. Love your fucking work. Righto, good motherfuckers. There you go, a little snippo for ya. Tell me that shit ain't good. That's some dirty, nasty, fucking filthy fucking shit out of the US that's fucking, yeah. Well, it'll rip, yeah, it'll rip your nose clean off your fucking face. And that's what you want from your raw black metal. You want it tough, you want it vicious, and you want it filthy. We're gonna jump into a fucking, we're, we're jumping straight from that into a Stone Cold motherfucking classic from 1994. I've only recently, like, fucking really started to jam on this shit, and I fucking, I love the cunt out of it. And for me, it seems like it is highly touted, and the people that like it absolutely fucking adore it. But then, apart from that, it doesn't seem to get the kudos it fucking it deserves. And this is basically, if you got fucking, say, Quarthon, and Ivar, I think it's Ivar Bjornsson from Enslave, and they, they touch pointers, they touch tossels. You know, shit fucking, you know, I don't know how that'd work, like, it, you know, whatever, yeah. If they did that, it'd spit out this album. Because that's, uh, that's pretty much how it, it, it starts. First wave, second wave, fucking Viking metal, it's got all that shit and it's filthy. It's what we're listening to. Hades again shall be. And it is. Enslaved and Bathory just touching pointers. Dick ends just boom. In together. Yeah. This album is an absolute fucking cracker. Timeless classic. And yet, once you do fucking jump around it, you're good to go. In is the these motherfuckers. Got the dominatrix gear on the boys there. Long hair, got dog collars on. Oh, you bit of arsehole hanging out at the back. But yeah, fantastic shit. And yeah, the tone of the, the album, it, it basically is, it's, it's got the same sound as what you'd hear on fucking, probably your Blood Fire Death from um, Bathory. Same tone, same guitar tone, same drums. You know, they've got those, those booming fucking drums. It almost like the sound, uh, feels like it's set up to, you know, just, to stay, just stage ready. Just to go live, just fucking, yeah. Nasty as fuck, good shit. Has your um, your acoustic um, passages throughout. Keeps the shit kind of, you know, keeps it grounded. Has your folky elements throughout, but yeah. It really does keep a mid-paced um, approach throughout. Does pick up the, um, the tempo a little bit in parts, but yeah. Keeps more of a, just a stomp all the way through it. Whereas, I suppose, with Blood, Fire, Death, you know, that does kick off a bit, you know. Gets in your thrashier section, all that kind of shit. This stays, yeah, just basically like a mid-tempo pace. Um, do believe you can still pick this up through NWN. Um, who else? I know Iron Tyrant. I think they have copies of this. But fucking, their shipping's fucking wild. Ludicrously out of, out of control. Especially trying to get copies over here in America, um, Australia. Won't happen. Unless you fucking made a coin. You're on the fucking Bitcoin dollar or whatever you're doing. You're fucking making tons off that. I don't know. So this comes with... Just your postie. Little postie on the, um, the inners there. And just pretty much Thor and Odin just jerking off into the water. Just jizzing. Straight into the fucking ocean. Those motherfuckers would be double cranking because they'd be, yeah, they'd be rocking the biggest dicks, I'm pretty sure, Thor and Odin. If you got Warhammers, you'd be getting a workout. Look at that. Just ready for Ragnarok. Just lacing up the ocean, jizz style. But yeah, double LP. 
like 54 minutes worth of music. Shit fucking kills. Has your keys throughout it, all that kind of shit. Tough as fuck. And I suggest you get around it, but yeah. I'd say like, even like bands like Falkenback, I reckon they probably take influence, influence from your Hades. Um, yeah, definitely throughout some parts. But yeah, if you wondered what Bathory would have done, if you had to jump on the second wave bandwagon, you don't need to wonder anymore because this band did it and they fucking, they did it justice. Fantastic. So if you haven't heard, get around the cunts, suck up a bit of a fucking snippet. And yeah, see what you boys reckon. Girls, whoever the fuck's there, jump on the cunt. Cheers. Welcome back. Hades in the background, kicking off. Ready to fucking just jump in me fucking chinny. Go out and fucking chuck on some fucking cuffs. Get a drinking horn and jam it in someone's bum. I don't know. That's what I want to do when I listen to fucking this Viking black and fucking filth in the back. Anyways, what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, into the next one. Um, this is a fantastic project. Once again, fantastic. Um, project out of um, Canada. Cunt's got more projects than fucking Madonna's had, you know. Warm toss. I'm tipping. But yeah, this is Ifanak, Green Enchanted Forest of the Druid Wizard. This is a fucking Belter of Elise. Um, do believe it was his fourth full length. Um, originally got a pressing on Go to War X. We're trying to get a fucking pressing of that through Go to War X. Fucking have more chance of winning the fucking lottery. My fingers aren't quick, and quick enough these days. A little bit older, like fucking I can't. I just can't keep up with the Cheeto boys, you know? Those fingers gotta be greased up, ready to go. F4, that fucking shit, refresh, let's go, bang. In the car, boof, out. They're gone. Gone in fucking, you know, within seconds. So for me, I just went with the uh, Tour de Garde number. Tour de Garde, plentiful copies, still copies out there as well. Uh, mine come through via Azra, via Overuse. So yeah, um, other companies or like distros do have this in stock. And this is a belter, this is um, it's, it is a black metal, obviously, it's a black metal album, but it does really fucking dive into the ambience. So yeah, it's, there's a real to and fro between your ambience and your black metal. And I suppose it puts you probably, probably what it does is puts you in Finian's, like the, the main dude behind the project's shoes. Gives you a bit of a lens through his, yeah, his outlook, basically. Through the harshness of the wilds. I know the fucking, the motherfuckers in the hunting, fucking fishing and fighting. That's what I see. Probably, I don't know, he might not be. I'm sure he's in the fucking, you know, fucking, I know he's in the hunting. I know that shit because, yeah, it does delve into your, um, uh, he's obviously his heritage as well, which is, he's got an Irish heritage and a Native American background as well. So there's two sides to this, and you do hear it throughout the album. You hear like the, the real Celtic edge he does have, especially through the first side. And then when it delves towards the, the back half of the second side, it gets into the Native American, like well, just the different instruments. He's a one man project too, so fucking he's playing all, all the bullshit that you hear through it. I think, what is that song? The Passage of Death Bark? That might be the ambient one. Oh, I think it's the end of Green, the Green Enchanted Forest of the Druid Wizard, the first song. Right at the back end of it, it's like he's fucking playing the fiddle bit with the acoustic. Mate, you want to get up, fucking fight a fucking leprechaun or fuck it. Punch a leprechaun in the head. Fucking get your Michael Flatley shoes on, you'll be fucking doing the river dance in no time while smashing three Guinnesses into your face. That's what it makes me want to do. That's what I like to do. And then, yeah, on the other side, it fucking, yeah, jumps in and it's, um, yeah, got your India, like your Native, Native American fair on the other side. The um, ambient segments throughout are, they, they are really fucking lush. And it does probably take you, as I said, within his shoes and, you know, through the forest or wherever he comes from, like where he fucking hikes and hunts, all that type of shit. 
and just the brutality of the wilds as well. Yeah, so yeah, it does, and then it gets yeah, it gets nasty again throughout the the black metal segments. But yeah, a really fucking accomplished musician, and yeah, all these projects for me, I I found so far, I really do tend to like. And he's fucking, well, he's got this, he's got Gulguck, he's got fucking Orf Norton, fucking all sorts of shit. There's heaps out there. Yarn for days. But yeah, to be able to put that volume of music out and all sound fucking fantastic in my book is brilliant. Um, some of the lead, yeah, some of the song titles are. Uh, do they? I think they fucking. We saw some of it, 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 it dives into the Irish language as well, which I think Gaelic. I do believe it does delve into that throughout parts. Just on the inners, a little bit of a spiel. Yeah, the wilds, where it's probably where he comes from, I don't fucking know. Don't hang around with the cunt, but yeah. But anyone that is in Europe, he will be playing Steel Fest in Finland. So if you do get a chance to check this motherfucker out, I highly suggest you do. Because he's brilliant. Can't eat fucking like licks buffalo hearts on stage, fucking covered in blood and shit, and yeah, all that nasty filth. This one come out in a pretty wicked fucking like splutter. But what like, olive green and black splutter. Pretty tasty shit. And yeah. Chuck on a little snip over for this and definitely get around it because it's good shit. Totally different from fucking Hades, the one before, but yeah, good on ya. I can't get this cunt in, so we're gonna fucking piss this off to the side and you're gonna fuck off and listen to that. Cheers. Anyways, um, on to our third bins. So it's a band from Finland. Um, could be fucking pretty much, could title it a super group because the fucking the amount of projects all these other motherfuckers have been in is pretty outstanding. The fucking, they've been in Grieve, Vargrav, fucking Moon Sorrow, and Sephirum, fucking Mastabori, fucking Tosselori, fucking Algori, fucking pull your dick a little, little bit more or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't fucking know, but I'm not a fucking rapper, but I'm fucking trying to fucking keep up with that shit. But this band is unbelievable. It's a melodic, symphonic black metal band. That's what the fuck I'm going with because that's what it sounds like to me. And these cunts are out of control. Fucking guitars, drums, bass, vocals, everything fucking on point. Everything's fire. Everything's well-oiled. Everything's out of fucking control. So it is Arthur Mesia, their first full length. I can't, I keep fucking forgetting what it's called. Devs, or Rats, Vivs. A Rat, Vivs, Devs, Devs are Rats. I fucking, why fucking make them so hard all the time? You don't have to. I don't know what the fuck that means either. I probably should have looked that up. Devs are Rat, Vivs. All right, so this came out in 2001. I only got an uh, a issue on vinyl in 2020 via Azra. And this, yeah, it's, it's a fucking phenomenal fucking listen. And yeah, as I said, as far as the guitars go, as far as, the, you know, the drum work, everything is fucking, they're, they're virtuosos of their fucking music, these cunts, they're out of control. And usually when you get fucking that many music, um, musicians in a room together trying to create an album when they're that technically proficient you usually get fucking shit on a stick I find double cranking a lot of wankery just jerking each other off but look at me play guitar I'm fucking pretty good at it look at me playing the drums you know fucking just jerking off you know just circle jerking each other luckily with this band it doesn't happen it just fucking works and it works really fucking well that fucking photo too, the boys, hard as nails. For me, why I think it does work is 
that the nastiness, more than anything, is a simplicity which comes from the vocals. The vocals are fucking grating, they're hateful, they're spiteful, and they're nasty as fucking shit. Really fucking nasty vocals. I really like it, I really do appreciate the vocals. I've said it a few times now, it means I do. And it keeps everything centered, it keeps everything grounded, and even though everyone's fucking flying with their instruments, fucking just doing their thing, just going to work. Like they've just been given free reign, solos, fucking, well, you know, you got fucking pick sweeps, you got fucking finger taps, fucking playing, playing fucking drums with his testicles, fucking out of control. It really is. But the vocals, it wins it for me. The simplicity, keep it simple. That's the fucking, the theory we're going with. That man fucking keeps everything grounded, keeps everything good, keeps everything tight, everything nasty. And yeah, I can't speak highly enough of that. And it really is, for me, why the album works so well. And there's nothing wrong with like fucking going all out with the fucking the musician shit. Even with that though, it, it is, it does keep fucking, it keeps itself really grounded. And yeah, I like it. But yeah, just the backs. I'm showing you that motherfucker. Just comes out on a black. Most of you should fucking know it, no doubts. But yeah, I fucking love the album. Been getting an absolute shit ton of spins of late by me. I'm fucking thirsty. I'm gonna have a little sip of this bad boy. We'll throw up a fucking snippet of that banger. And yeah. Um, definitely still, copies in abundance out there of this, so. Go out, do yourself a favour, jump on it, grab it, and yeah, if you haven't got it already, if you're late to the party like me, we'll fucking, yeah, get on it now. Cheers. Still kicking off in the background. Had to change their name to fucking Hades Almighty too. Almighty, because some fucking American band come in, took the rights back, and they had to fuck their name off and change it to the Almighty in the end. But anyways, on to the last fucking vinyl for this evening. It's a band out of Belarus, or a project, a one-man fella. Fucking, it's an absolute fucking travesty that this band doesn't get talked up as much as it should, because this is an absolute fucking gem of album. Um, as I said, you're yeah, out of Belarus. It is a band by the name of Sacrilegious Profanity. And it's their third demo. Six songs on it. And the name of the banger is Genocide Rituals. Look at that motherfucker. Ice cold. I appreciate the fuck out of that picture. As soon as, this was almost, yeah, it was basically, would have been a blind buy, but the, the vinyl didn't come out for probably two years after it was released. So I did have to give it a spin, obviously, before that. Uh, the CD was put out through War Against Yourself. Uh, so I think that was put out in... That might have been, what, 2020? I think it was put out at the same time as it was released. But it was a little um, little distro by the name of Rabor that picked up this and they, they pressed it on vinyl. And thank fuck they did. I, I waited the longest time for this cunt to come out. And yeah, glad it's here now. And this is an absolute fucking blast out of an album. As far as um, tempo goes, it does go at a, 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 f a fairly mid pace. The vocals are re real, like fucking right on the low end with his um, his rasp. But then fucking when it does pick up, he fucking he changes his vocal style and it almost gets into a more of a, a raw raw up uh, like fucking a war metal sound like fucking yeah. And I think it is due to his background because all these bands they do center around um, black and death metal. This one being no different, but the black metal um, theme probably takes you take, takes fucking the majority of the listen from the fucking the death, I'd say. Fucking what am I even fucking talking about? This is fucking it's good. The guitars are fucking fantastic, crunchy, a fucking nasty filth. Production is fucking on point. I'd urge everyone to fucking get out there, fucking go and check out this distro. As I said, there is there's fucking vinyl, vinyl still sitting in there, and I don't understand how. 
Look at the man in the cloak there. Got the spikes on. Giving it the fingers. Angry as fuck. Good shit. But yeah. Um, as far as like, there's not a lot of melody. It's, I don't know, it's, for me, as, as heavy as it is, it's just fucking, it's absolutely captivating. It's absolutely contagious. And yeah, I cannot, yeah. This is one band, to this day, I'm still fucking multiple spins. Multiple spins. It'd be, it probably would be up there, like, as, you know, could be up there as one of my favourite projects in black metal. But it's hard to say because, you know, it's only three demos that he's done and he's not really... He doesn't keep up with it like fucking it, yeah. This was 2020, so... Ain't had shit since. It's come out on like a little pepper and swirl little motherfucker like that. There it is. Pretty cute. But as I said, this um, this little distro still does have this in stock. Um, on the black vins, if you're into that, who gives a shit? Plays the music, that's all you fucking want really, isn't it? And yeah. If there's one of these cunts that I'll be going out to pick out out of the ones that I've shown tonight, I'll be picking this fucking thing up. I can't sing its praises enough. You've probably got that one. You've probably got Hades. You've probably got Ifinac, potentially. But yeah. This is huge. Yeah, and it's all, all done by the one dude. The drums are proficient. The guitars are proficient. And the sound is, yeah. I don't know. The sound's just so infectious. Can't talk it up any more than that. That's all I'm going to... I'm just going to leave it at that. All right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish my piss, and we'll get back into the fucking see yous, boys, and thank yous. Cheers. Hug. That'll do us. Just a, a bit of a, I don't know, it's not really a fucking quicker one, but yeah. A couple of rando ones. Ones that I've been listening to at work. Ones that I've been getting around for the week. Wanted to chuck them on. Show you guys, see what you fucking reckon. Um, as I said, I will do those shout outs for those, those the couple of lads that have sent me some stuff like fucking, I do get total support to them too. Fantastic. Go and check their shit out. If you're fucking having a beer, got nothing else to do, Get your dick out of your hand and fucking go and watch these blokes. It's fucking, it's good. Good music. Um, good channel. And yeah, Baz from fucking the Goat Metal channel. He fucking, he's got to be one of the biggest fucking supporters or anything that's fucking metal. He's, he's on it and he's fucking supporting. So fucking, how could you not? Just a good dude. Good solid dude. And he's a fucking musician. Can play his shit. Grouse stuff. Pugs fucked. And yeah. Dark Adversary unboxing, that's coming up. I am fucking excited to do that one. And also, don't forget, on the 6th, if you're still here, on the 6th of fucking May, that's when we'll be, we will be announcing the winner of the competition for, yeah, for the bullshit. Whatever I'm fucking giving away, it could be fuck all. Could be getting air. Send air in a fucking, you know, in a fucking little, little box. Could be fuck all. Could be good. Might not even like the fucking albums that I give you. Who fucking knows? We'll find out. I'll actually, I'll chuck them up in the next video as well. So you get a bit of a fucking idea of what you're actually getting. Because I haven't shown you yet. So we'll do that. I'm going to fucking send this little pug off to bed. He's tight as fuck now. Look at him. He's fuzzy as fuck. Cute as. I'm going to go chill out. Drink a couple more of these. Why not? I've got tomorrow off as well. So I can drink fucking more than the couple. I might get on the, you know, might double it up. Double the intake. Stay hydrated, get around it, fucking love your work. We'll see you soon in the next one. Cheers, thank you.